Hello, welcome to Board with Paint. Today we'll be continuing our series of painting Masters of the Universe, Clash for Eternia, with everybody's favorite bumbling magician, Orko. As in previous videos, I've already Zenithal primed the miniature. This involves priming it entirely in black, and then spraying it from above in white to bring out the highlights. This can help serve as a guideline on where to put them when we paint the miniature. We'll get started today with pure black, and we'll use this to cover the area around the eyes and underneath his cloak. I'll then use this to paint the mysterious arcane symbol on the front of his cloak. Next we'll fill in Orko's eyes with Averlin Sunset. Now moving on to the skin, we'll cover all of this with rust gray, which is a nice light bluish gray. We don't want to forget about Orko's ears, which are poking out of his hat. Next, we'll apply a base coat to his entire cloak using Citadel's Corn Red. To bring out the shadows and highlights, we're going to do some wet blending. This means we'll mix two colors directly on the model to bring out the shadows and highlights, rather than applying them in layers as we did in previous videos. To give us more working time with the paint on the model, I'm using slow dry medium which you can pick up at any craft store. For the shadow color, I'm using Vallejo's Royal Purple, and here I'm mixing both that and the base color with a few drops of the slow dry medium. We'll start off by laying the purple anywhere where there's going to be deep shadows, like the recesses and folds in the cloak. While that's still wet, we'll grab some of the corn red, which also has slow dry medium, and we will apply the color right next to the shadow color. Then with a clean brush, go in and mix the two colors together so that you get a nice smooth transition between them. You may need to futz with this a bit to get the desired effect.
We'll leave that to dry and move on to the hat. For this, I'm laying down a base coat of Jacaro Orange from Citadel. Once the cloak is completely dry, we can move back and boost the highlights a bit. I'm using Vallejo Game Color Bloody Red and wet blending that in with the corn red on some of the raised areas. The final result should give you a nice bright highlight going down into a deep purple shadow. You can often achieve a more seamless color gradient using this technique instead of traditional layering. For Orko's wand, I'm using polished gold from Vallejo Game Color. Next, we'll shade Orko's hat with some Fugan Orange, and I'm just applying this all over the entire hat, especially down in the recesses and on the back. While we wait for the wash to dry, I'm taking some ice yellow and going in and picking out the center of the eyes. You'll want to leave a little bit of the Averland sunset around the outside of the ice yellow. Then we'll return to black and dot in the pupils. Orco seems a bit cross-eyed in the artwork, so you can keep them close together. Now we'll do some highlights on the hat by mixing in some lemon yellow to the base color, Jacaro Orange. I'm concentrating on the upper portions of any folds in the hat, as well as the front getting more highlight than the back. Here I'm going around the entire brim of the hat and adding a highlight, being sure to keep that dark line between the brim and the upper part of the hat. Next, we'll highlight the skin by adding some white into the rust gray. This will go on the tips of the ears and the fingers.
on the one hand, try to leave a little bit of the rust gray in between each finger so it's a little bit easier to see from a distance. Orko's face is so hideous that he needs to cover it with a mask, so we'll obviously use pink horror for this. And we'll highlight this by adding some white. The highlights will be applied over the raised folds in the mask. I decided to boost the highlight slightly by adding a little more white. Moving on to the base, I'm painting the rocks that he's floating above with cold gray. Once this was dry, I applied a white dry brush to the rocks to give them a little bit of a highlight, followed by a black wash. I used Citadel's Nuln Oil for this. I'm also painting the individual rocks that are on the ground of the base. For the rest of the base, I'm covering it in Vallejo model color Iraqi sand. This is the same base recipe I've used in the other miniatures in this series. Finally, we'll apply Agrax Earthshade as a wash over the entire base. Off camera, I also applied this to the wand to bring out the shadows a little bit. Once Orko was completely dry, I covered him with a matte varnish and called him complete. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. It will help the channel out and help me bring you more videos like this. And let me know down in the comments who you'd like to see me paint next. Thanks again for watching Board with Paint, and until next time, happy painting!